Hey everybody, the Bong is here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play! Sesame Street Elmo's Number Journey for the Nintendo 64. Well, since I already did Elmo's Letter Adventure, that means we eventually gotta do Number Journey 2. Uh, hard just makes it longer. Really, it's not that much of a challenge, so let's just go with medium. I wonder if those two games were released at the same time. What are you counting? That's one! One fantastic parade of numbers! Ha, ha, ha. You love numbers, don't you, Cal? Come along to my castle, and we shall do some serious counting! Ha, ha, ha. If you want to go to my castle, press one of these buttons. Alright, time for Elmo to get drained of all his blood. This is my glorious garden maze! There's quite a number of numbers inside. Uh, uh, uh. See if you can find all of the number sevens. Or find seven bats. Uh, I think I'd rather go with the actual sevens, thank you. I dealt with enough bats in my life. Seven. Yep, that walk animation is still pretty gank. So yeah, just make sure you don't touch any numbers that are not seven. seven. Oh, I think there's at least is that a butterfly or yeah, I think that's a oh, I think that's a bat. Well, it's not like you can touch them, so it don't mean anything. Seven. So really, just by choosing medium, the games don't last as long. I love a game where I just touch things that are yellow. That's why Big Bird's not in this game anymore. One. Oh, no. oh I thought you were supposed to find seven bats. I mean, you find one, then you find another seven. one. Well, apparently, that's not how it works. Seven. Oh, that's only three bats. Last time I had to deal with a garden maze in an N64 game, there was a Frankenstein with a chainsaw. Well, it wasn't a Frankenstein, it was a creature. But it had chainsaws, that was scary enough. Seven. But yeah, look how rigid that walk animation is. I wonder what it was like designing that. Seven. We found it. If you want to keep playing, press one of the buttons that are flashing now. If you want to go back to Sesame Street, press this button. Why was that a long-winded animation? What the hell? Oh, when now the buttons work. My castle. Uh, uh, uh. You will find some of my very favorite numbers here. Please, have a look around and pick up all of the number seven, or find seven bats. I was like, why was it taking so long to press anything? Okay, so now we gotta do the same thing, but it's inside the castle. Seven. I better find all the sevens before the count drains me of all my blood. Elmo had to be the right color for the job. Seven. We found it. Got red fur and a castle that's, you know, that's occupied by a vampire. Seven. We did it. 
Maybe this is one of the least jank N64 hey, games that feature a vampire. Eight. Oh, that's it! Oops. Well, that's embarrassing. Good thing I played on a medium difficulty. I might not be able to beat this. Well, that's four. Well, for me, in video games, one bat's too many. goes like that. No! <laughs> Let's scream! No! From downtown, oh my god. Three plus two equals five. Elmo One, needs more two, balls as tribute. Is that enough balls for ya? Five more purrs! I wanna see if I can get two voice clips going at the same time. That would've been funny. That's enough balls! I knew I could count on you! Uh, uh, uh. You got everything right! Yippee! Now let's go back to Sesame Street! Okay. There's Ernie! Hi, Ernie! Say, have you been to the Carnival of Numbers? Elmo loves carnivals! You do? Well, come with me. I'll take you there. If you'd like to go to the carnival in the park with me, press one of the action buttons. They're flashing now. Yeah, let's go. Bird's take still a at home. Pick a number, but not just any number. Find the number two. Or find two balls. Um, no comment. <laughs> Two. Let's just go get the numbers. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, here we go. I don't know if it, this is better than Letter Adventure. So I mean, they're basically the same game. It's like they just made the same game and sold it to you twice. It's like Pokemon. Two. Oh, it's just the balls are floating. Rather than just like something normal like balls like on the grass. Two. Yeah, if you heard anything clicking, this N64 joystick is kinda rigid, but at least it's not too loose. Two. We got it. All right, here we go. That's the last one. Two. 
I did get it right. If you want to keep playing, press one of these buttons. The ones that are... Hey, I bet you're in the mood for a bumpy ride. <laughs> Look around for all the bumper cars with the number 2. Or search for the cars that have 2 balls. Can I run over already? Two. We did it! Two. We found it! Two. Okay. This feels quite alright. At least you move so slick. Why are there bats here too? Two. We did it! Two. That's a good sound. Two. Oh, I gotta offer my sacrifice of balls. And press one of the option buttons. Ring the bell when you have the right number. All right, let me if do you it. you want to take back a ball, honk the horn. Two plus one. Elmo needs how many balls? All right, what if I threw four? Okay, it does take away one ball. Let's go on to the next problem. Four plus one. Elmo needs how many Ooh, balls? how many? What is the maximum okay, amount of balls you can put in the mouth? No. Okay, that's a string of words I should never say during a Sesame Street Let's Play ever again. Or probably almost any Let's Play for that matter. I'll have to make a mental note of that one. No! No! What's the maximum? Is it like probably nine? Yeah, it's nine. <laughs> if you press it too fast, the number press is delayed. Let me just let me quiz. You solved three plus two. Now solve two plus three. Switch. Just in case you're half inept. Great job! I knew you could do it. You got everything right. Yippee! Now let's go back to Sesame. Look at Cookie Monster on the right. He looks like you got the wrong kind of cookies. It's like, oh, I, I, I smell color. We're back on Sesame Street. Ooh, Alma wonders what there is to see. Oh, no, not you. I guess you can change the levels there. We're not going to do that. I mean, what is the point? We've already played Letter Adventure on Hard. What else do I have to prove? Those smell like the best cookies ever! Those are my mother's ashes! Did Cookie Monster save one for Elmo? Uh, 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 no, B -b but we can go to Cookie World to get more! Cookie World sounds like fun! Fun? Fun? You just wait and see how much fun! Come on! If you want to go to Cookie World with me, press one of these buttons. You have a universe that's full of cookies? Look at that river of chocolate. You go down that yummy river and find all the number fours. Or find four candies. Are you sure that's chocolate? We're on a jet ski now. Four. Oh my god, can you do jumps? 
Well, they're not necessarily good jumps. Just random logs. And cookies with wings. The biblically accurate cookies. Did we just do a handstand on that? They put some attention on this game, believe it or not. Be not afraid. It's not raisins I have inside me. Playing? Press one of these buttons. Now, you ski down Sugar Mountain. Find all the number fours. Or find four candies. He's got so much cookies on the brain, he can't even tell that I'm snowboarding, not skiing. Four. So, I, I guess he can't tell the difference. They rotted his brain. Oh no. Four. I'm on this game. Oh, oh, can't get up there. Well, I was pretty much well beyond the age of, you know, being the target audience of Sesame Street around the time that Elmo had his midlife crisis. Like, one of my friends has a pet rock and treats it like a normal thing. Four. And then people on Twitter would often, like, right. meme on it, like, oh, Elmo is losing his mind. Four. Like, he's just ready to slap Zoe up the head. Oh, he's gonna break his legs doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no button to skip, like, to skip any of this. You have to wait for the spiel to end. For your balls, Elmo. Switch. Let's go on to the next problem. Four plus one. Elmo needs how many balls? From downtown. A couple more. Switch. You can do it. Switch. You can solve basic math. Switch. I'll ring the bell. Completed all the games. Now we shoot random numbers. Cause it's a number game. Okay, that's enough. And there we go. That's it. That's Sesame Street Elmo's Number Journey for the Nintendo 64. I mean. Look, I know I'm probably gonna get pissed. Oh, you didn't play on hard. I guess he struggles with numbers. I just felt like it would have made things a little pedantic. I mean, I know my numbers, despite the fact I had two strikes. But at the end of the day, at least I got through both of those games. So, I mean, they're. I don't know if they'd be great for kids because it just gets extremely basic with them like maybe like before preschool like if you're trying to get them into letters and numbers early I mean, after that then you it's just way behind but it is what it is it's okay for what it was at the time 
that you can get on the N64 and the PlayStation. So, there you go. At least I got through both games. I guess we can sit through the rest of the credits while we still have them. No, those credits still look like something out of, like, I don't know, basic programming screen. It's kind of funny like that, I guess. I don't think you can skip the uh, credits either. But uh, yeah, would I recommend it? I don't know if I would recommend it to kids. Only because there's probably better games that teach ABCs and 1-2-3s than this. Like this is pretty basic. No, no, I don't want to visit you again. I'm, I'm done. I'm done with you, Elmo. Go back to your own world with Mr. Noodle. So anyway, this is the Bong is signing off, saying goodbye, Godspeed, and stay tuned for my next Let's Play. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I shall see you next time.